This episode of Journey to Alaska finds us making our way from Jasper to Layard Hot Spring, all the way from Banff, covering 1,572 kilometers. Shortly after departing Banff, we found this little guy on the side of the road, chomping away contentedly on dandelions. As we continued down the Icefields Parkway, we came across some herds of bighorn sheep walking along the side of the road. Then we passed Bridal Veil Falls before stopping for lunch. Is this a good spot for lunch? After lunch, we went by the glaciers that make this Icefield Parkway famous. At approximately 325 square kilometers, these are the largest fields of ice south of the Arctic Circle. About another hour down the road and we arrived at Jasper and headed to our camp spot at Whistler's Campground. i do a little sight adjustment. Is that a neighbor? Hey neighbor. You just don't mind people, do you? Is there good grass at our site? Then more elk came to graze and showed that they have a pecking order. Sure doesn't look nine o'clock. The next morning, we headed out for a hike. And this is Fifth Bridge. So messy. It feels like the majority of this elevation is right in the beginning. Try to catch your breath. <laughs> this morning we are out early doing the sixth bridge via the Maline Canyon, I think is how you pronounce it. So there's actually five bridges around Maline Canyon. So we'll do those five and then we're gonna add on the, the sixth. We entered the trail at the fifth bridge parking lot. Doing that, you have like 230 feet of elevation gain in the first three tenths of a mile. It's, yeah, it's just a steep slog up the hill. Which and is, we finally found mosquitoes. Yeah, had just had to put on bug spray. Um, first time in a long time. First time since we left, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. So a little out of breath, but we are surrounded by pines and the water's rushing in the background and it's gorgeous. It's a perfect way to start our time in Jasper. What do you think, Stormy? Let's hike. You ready to go hike? Yeah. Okay, hike. trail. We made our way to the Malign River where it enters the Malign Canyon. With a depth of 50 meters, this is said to be the deepest slot canyon in the Canadian Rockies. The bridges and boardwalks afford you incredible views of the waterfalls flowing beneath you. Even though it was the end of May, there was still ice within the canyon. Stormy stopped for a water break. Then we watched ravens being fed for their lunch break. Confluence of an underground river. The solubility of the limestone in this area allows for the formation of these underground rivers and streams. As a result of all the inflow of water, by the time you reach the two kilometers from the top to the bottom, the volume is increased tenfold. Once off the bridges and paths, Stormy was feeling a little nausea. Are you part mule? Have you been watching the elk? He washed it down with some crisp, refreshing canyon water, then we were off to the sixth bridge. There are steps, but he chooses to go through. Sixth and final bridge. We made it to Jasper! We made it to Jasper! Woo! Woo Post hike, we stopped by Jasper Brewing Company for some delicious beverages and food. When in Canada, poutine, falafel wrap, and Korean chicken. Before leaving Jasper, it was time to add a sticker to our map. Here we go. Alberta. After two short days, we were back on the road in not so great driving conditions. Driving through caribou country in dense fog and rain. Less than fun. Well, we didn't see any caribou and the elk stayed off the road for us. We passed through the town of Beaver Lodge with its giant beaver statue. And finally reached British Columbia. 
It was still drizzly out when we hit Dawson Creek, mile zero of the Alaska Highway. We've made it to the Alaska Highway! Woohoo! The Alcan is a 1,387-mile highway that connects Delta Junction, Alaska to Dawson Creek, British Columbia. It's only fitting that a flat stormy goes next to the L.L. Bean sticker. Oh no, it's raining. We stopped for a rainy night at Charlie Lake Provincial Park. We are up early this morning, have another big day, a lot of miles to cover, kilometers to cover. <laughs> I've been practicing my conversions so that I understand these signs when we pass them. Um, so time zone's working in our favor. We're on Pacific time now. So we're on the road before 7 a.m. I'm gonna try to push up to Muncho Lake and take a look at that. But our ultimate destination for today is Laird River Hot Springs, which I think is about 750 kilometers. Is that? It's a long it's a day. Long. Another it's like long a day. Hour drive. Yep, but we um, have to soak in hot springs when we get there, though. If we can find a spot, <laughs> hopefully they have a spot available for us. Um, and then we'll hunker down for a few days while I work. So. And I'll try to get in the video. Yes. Yeah. We drove through parts of BC that had just had wildfires come through, and some parts that were still smoldering. We drove along without a curve for something like 13 miles. Then we came to sections that were steep and windy, with mist rising off the water below. Going downhill. Slowly. Very slowly. Doing the speed limit. It's a 9% grade. And turns. Fun. So we're going to see what this is all about. So, not what we thought, huh? No. I thought I was just getting a made by Coca-Cola, not a... Cool. Of beverage and coffee for me. And not so bad, it's not so good. <laughs> it was all they had. Highly caffeinated, we came to a mountain where the top looks a little bit like the profile of a face. We're about 571 kilometers from Dawson Creek on the Alcan. And the Alcan's been pretty, pretty decent, like good. Um, seen a lot of black bear. I think we saw eight today. But as you can see, we're going very slow. <laughs> so 570 some odd kilometers in, there's a Testa campground that has uh, colossal cinnamon buns. Unfortunately, they're not open, so we weren't able to stop. But this road, there was a sign that said, you know, conditions vary. Oh. Yeah, very, very crappy. It's bad. So it turns out it was just a stretch of very rugged construction and work, but and the unmarked, Al unmarked. the Alcan has been so good about marking wherever there's construction, um, really good with... Uh, setting the speed limits really recently, like at 50 kilometers an hour. Yeah, we've been really impressed with everything, but that section, that outside of just shock. saying that road conditions can vary the next 200 kilometers, that was the only thing, and then boom. It was just like washboard pothole. Rocks and fall. Rocks off falling cliff. off the cliff. <laughs> so, but we're back on better road now. The roads and driving conditions vary greatly along the Alaska Highway. But you also get incredible views like this little waterfall. And then you'll see animal life like these bighorn sheep. Or Stormy will spot his first moose in the wild and all the challenging driving will be worth it. So we've been driving on the Alcan Highway for about 650 kilometers now. Uh, we're just about an hour away from our destination, which is Laird Hot Springs for the day, but we pulled out with the Toad River behind us and the folded mountains in the background there. We are officially in Muncho Lake Provincial Park. So this is part of that and it's absolutely gorgeous. Not to be outdone, Muncho Lake showed off its colors. We took a little detour. I think we ended up in the Caribbean. Look at this water! And finally, it was over a river and through some woods to Liard River Hot Springs Provincial Park Campground. So we're in line at Laird Hot Springs Campsite. Uh, Provincial Park. Provincial Park, yeah. Just all of a sudden not having a warm fuzzy. There's like two rigs in front of us. There's kids and people running all around. We don't have a reservation. They have 53 sites and a good portion of them are first come first serve. So yeah. we figured we would try. And it's really early in the season. So we were hoping that we could squeak in, but 
Fingers crossed. We were happily surprised when we went to check in and they had two spots left. Going for a walk back to the hot springs area. Jason got to go last night for a bit. I'm gonna go check it out this morning. So unlike the other hot springs that we've been to, this one's definitely a more natural hot springs. So it's a good trek back on this little boardwalk through this marshy area. Jason saw a moose back here last night. Same one that went running behind our camper. So it's a little bit more of a trek. The boardwalk leads to the hot pools, a changing area, and a patio. The heated waters bubble up from the far side of the pool and cooler water trickles in along the edges, keeping it between 107 and 125 degrees Fahrenheit. A short set of stairs leads past the pool and up to the hanging garden where hot water exudes from the rocks and nourishes a drapery of ferns and wildflowers. Along the boardwalk, you may meet some of the locals. Moose, that is. They graze freely and there's no barrier between you and them, so it's recommended to maintain at least 25 yards of distance. In preparation of our day's drive to the signpost forest. What is that you're making, Kelly? Our sign for the signpost forest. Because our other plan didn't work out, so we're improvising. Adapt, improvise, overcome. What is that you're making it on? <laughs> it's my quilting cutting mat for fabric. And with that, we were on our way further up the Alcan. See you there. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes